Do you want to know about the best spot to find urban luxury living in both Henderson and Summerlin? Hi, I'm British realtor Sandy McDuffie and I have the scoop for you today on a fabulous product here at Toll Brothers. Today we're going to be looking at Amiata and the Cordillera communities. So stay tuned. So today I'm super excited because I have the privilege of interviewing one of my best friends. This is me, Shannon Dalbert. And Shannon and I actually met in residential real estate probably like 10 or 11, 11. years ago mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when we worked at Keller Williams, Southern Nevada. We even shared an office together okay. for a little bit. And Shannon moved in to new home. Uh, I, I stayed selling residential and Shannon moved into New York. And you've been with Toll Brothers for how long now? Seven and a half years. Seven and a half yes. years. So yes. what is it you love about working with Toll Brothers? I would say number one is gonna be the products that we sell, right? Toll Brothers is a luxury home builder. Uh, every community has its own unique selling proposition. Um, I'm currently selling at Amiata here in Inspirata, which are three-story townhomes with optional rooftop decks. So let's talk about Amiata, and you also sold over a Cordillera, Cordillera which yeah. is the same product. Yeah. So Amiata's here in Henderson, in Inspirata, and Cordillera's over in, in Summerlin. Summerlin, in Red Point Square. Do you have a favorite model? So, uh, yeah, so I would say at Cordillera, it's called the Luciana. Here it's called the Divini, which is where we're sitting All today. All the way in. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It is definitely my favorite. Um, but yeah, I've had the opportunity to sell this product at two locations, Summerlin and now again in Inspirata. Um, Cordillera is off of Far Hills, again at Red Point Square. Um, some of the differences between the two communities, um, other than location, of course, uh, Cordillera is going to have two HOAs, one for the Cordillera community, one for Summerlin. What, they, are, the, what are the prices? Um, I want to say, if I remember correctly, two thirty-five. So it was fifty-five or sixty for Summerlin, and the remainder for um, Cordillera. There is a little bit of a sit in that community as well, fifty-four hundred dollars. So that's paid twice a year. So a SID, just to explain to our viewers today, is an infrastructure fee. So when they uh, are developing raw land, they have to bring in utilities, etc. And, and a SID is an infrastructure fee that is attached to the house, yes. right? Yep. Uh -huh. okay. um, yes, and it's a, it's a flat rate, basically. Once it's paid off, it's done, you know, and it does stay with the home site. So should somebody sell before it's paid off, it would just transfer to the new home. Here in Inspirata, we just have one HOA, $240 a month. No SID or LID, as it's sometimes called as well. Um, our HOA, 240 does include water and sewer, which nice. is a nice perk that uh, Cordillera doesn't offer. What kind of amenities? I see, like, I know Cordillera has a pool. I don't see yes, one. Yes, we do. It's, it's under construction. Okay, so cool. it was between two buildings, which is why you weren't able to see it. Um, it is in the works, scheduled to, cl or to be completed, hopefully, by the end of September. Um, neither community is gated, and they did that on purpose. They wanted the communities to have kind of a more like open urban feel to them. Um, so yeah, you'll notice like no even walls around the perimeter of the community, you know, purposely. Everybody has their own little walk up to the front door, their own private courtyard. So yeah, it's a different, different than your traditional single or two story home. So Shannon, yes. you and I talked about this being like urban luxury living. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to know like who, who is your clientele out here in my head? I can kind of imagine like um, East Coast people that, that are used to of more an, an urban lifestyle and a, a multi-level yes, living. For sure, definitely those those type of prospects that come through the door are definitely more familiar with, with the three-story living. Um, for locals and those from the West Coast, it is it's unique, you know, it's something new that they haven't experienced. Honestly, um, anybody who, who likes stairs is welcome <laughs> to buy a house here. But honestly, it is traditionally more like your early um, early retirees or empty nesters, right. which is going to be me here in the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, anybody who's cool with the stairs, again, they're a really fun, unique product. So um, yeah, it's, it's whoever wants to buy them. <laughs>
<laughs> Everybody's welcome. <laughs> Come by us for some. Let's let's talk about pricing. What do these what do these homes run at? Okay, so here it is a little unique. It's not like you come in, you purchase a, a dirt lot, and you build from scratch. Because of the nature of the product, we get everything going here. So we'll start a building. We'll start it, of course, with the structural options, um, and then typically we're going to add initially like electrical, low voltage, and plumbing trim. So really here we start the home, not at a base price. I mean, we literally just sell the home base price plus the options that are in it to date. So again, the, the soonest you could purchase something would be at that stage where we've again selected electrical, low voltage, plumbing trim. A buyer could still come in and select cabinets and all the hard surfaces, countertops, flooring, tile surrounds. So every home here is at, a, is at a different price. My least expensive home right now is 545 up to close to 800 Again, with, with options to either put some options in or, or to purchase a fully move-in ready home. So what does base price mean exactly? Because we so, hear about yeah. that a lot in new home bills right. and, I, and I don't think people really understand yeah. that when they're coming in and, and buying a home at the base price right. that is not the final exactly. price Exactly, so the base price is just literally gonna be where that home starts with not one option or upgrade. It's where we're gonna start. So again, here we do add at least structural options so you're not coming in and buying the home at that base price, you're buying it at that price with the options to date. So um, it, it is a little bit of a different concept. I think that's the way Toll Brothers is kind of moving forward. Um, some communities will still have opportunities for dirt lots where a buyer can come in and select everything from the ground up. But again, with this being a community, we want to keep the ball rolling. Um, so we just literally sell the home at, at the price with the options selected thus far. So what do you say, like you, Toll Brothers models are just stunning and we, we toured some of them today and I, I think you put probably maybe like 60% upgrades in the in, models. In your models. The models have, yes, I would say at, at least probably 60%, yeah. right? So what does an average, an average um, home buyer do in Well, place? again, because we've started it and the buyer's going to come in and we, we're trying to keep them affordable, right? So we're going to put in nice options that aren't going to break the bank. So um, typically, I think when, when a home is finished, I would say it's going to be about 10% of the, this base price, which is kind of an elusive number. Right, yeah. right. One thing I really, really love about these homes are the, are the rooftop decks. Mm. That kind of makes it more unique. And, and over here and over in Summerlin, mm -hmm. you have these like amazing strip and valley views. Do, I haven't do. been here at night, but I'm sure it's yeah. like, it's beautiful. Yeah, you must have been here at night. Of course I've been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, so definitely, um, the, you know, some rooftop decks are going to have quote unquote better views than others. But really, once you're up there and you're enjoying the space with your friends and family, you know, it's, it's not necessarily all about what you can see around, but you know, who you're with. So if somebody's looking to purchase a new home, mm -hmm. why do you think um, Toll Brothers is a great option? Because uh, honestly, yeah. one of my favorite builders. Yeah. Um, but like, why? What? What is Toll Brothers' unique selling proposition? Well, just like you said, so we are America's luxury home builder. So I think when you walk through a Toll Brothers model or even one of our homes, you're going to notice a difference than walking through. Other builders, you other know, builders. right? Other builders. She's I don't, I don't, I don't want to throw discreet. anybody under the bus. We'll, we'll, we'll be PC. Um, no, but you can definitely tell a difference. I have yeah. people literally tell me daily if they've walked any other uh, builder and they come here that you can see and feel the difference when you're in a Toll Brothers home. So if you, if you want to feel, see and feel the, <laughs> the the Toll Brothers difference, we're happy to like tour you. Um, he, either here yeah. in Amiata or at um, Cordillera, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, my brain is spacing there. Or let's let's talk about any of the other like amazing products. How many? How many do you know offhand? Oh my goodness! How many active communities yeah, right now? Communities. Uh, to give you a number, no, but I can tell you that we have communities in Cadence, which is a uh, um, part of Henderson towards Lake Las Vegas. We do have a community in Las Vegas, or Lake Las Vegas. 
We have uh, Ascension, at, uh, which is our Mesa Ridge replacement. We've got a few com communities in Sky Canyon, um, Summerlin, of course, and the Northwest, like Elkhorn and Jones. Well, so when, we've got when, something that fits. When they in. move you, yeah. we'll, we'll come and do it and interview Perfect. You at, at your new place. Sounds good. Well, hopefully I'm going to be here for a while. I think these are a really cool, unique product, and I'd love to show them to anybody who wants to come take a look. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank for, you. Thanks for coming out here. Sharing your time with us today. We appreciate you. Shannon Galbraith. I have really enjoyed touring these models over here at Aminata and Cordillera. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And if you would like some more information or if you'd like to come and take a tour with me personally, you can um, sign up on my Calendly link below. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe and follow for more. Thanks for tuning in.